Testing out a new thing I got from uh, iFootage. It's the Spider Crab, I think. That's, I think that's what it's called. It's basically a Vico camera mount. I'm gonna test it out up here. Try to see if I can get some nice shots with it. Like, you know, putting the camera in different positions. So let's see how, you know, what comes in this thing. It's got little like protection here for the suction mounts, which is good. Nice big surface here, the suction cap. Uh, there's a pump I see, and it says max 30 kilograms. Check every four hours, I guess, in case the air starts leaking. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this releases the, the 3 8 I guess, uh, threaded screw. And then if you don't need it, if you're gonna thread one in here, then yeah, then you can put it back in, which is good. But what else we got here? We got, so we got these magic arms, which are 3 8 I see, and then they have the, kind of the airy reset style. Uh, or basically these locking pins so it doesn't set or go loose on you, which is really important when you're driving a car. Uh, so that's the, the mount for the, here, for this thing. So that's kind of cool that it's included. And we got some safety lines, so. I'm thinking I'll attach maybe one here, one here, and then maybe one up there or something to kind of get three points of contact. I want to first get the sort of a shot looking through the window of me driving, basically. Okay, I can see it. Like you can see, it kind of gets suctioned into the car. The more you pump it, and then it doesn't come out. So basically, the idea is with most of these is that you're pumping it. But actually, well, you're not pumping it. You're pumping out the air that's basically in the little cap. So as I'm doing it, you should be able to see it basically gets kind of gets sort of sucked in towards the car because there it creates a vacuum, right? So that's essentially what's holding it. So you see now, pump doesn't move because there's really you know, all no air left in there. But that's why it says check every four hours because. Uh, you know, if if the air starts leaking in through one of the other corners or something, then eventually this will just let go. Okay, right now it seems solid. Ah, pretty cool. So this this is like a really really neat quick release system. So it lets you take out the the three edge screw here. So you can attach that separately, basically by itself, and then you slide in the, the thing. Basically clip on the arm. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see it has got those two little like safety pins. Those things basically fit in here, you see? So that makes sure that in case there's any vibrations, it's, still, it's not gonna go loose on you. So, yeah, pretty cool system. I'm just gonna do this like that without any tools. And then you just take this thing. There, okay. And yeah, that holds it. And you can adjust the arm. Now this whole system allows me to basically set this up without any tools, just by using, you know, the, the things that they have built in, and it's really good because. You know, most of these that I've put together in the past, you gotta have you know, different Allen keys, you know, basically different tools, so you can adjust it and all that stuff. So, so far I haven't, didn't need one, so. Let me attach the other arm. All right, I'm liking this so far. <laughs> Just basically how easy and secure it is like the, the, these arms, like attaching them. Now I know that they sell different lengths of these um, because they have other kits that are basically the, the spider uh, crab systems that are not meant for just mounting a car, but just in general, like these uh, magic arms and stuff like that with, these, with this cool kind of a system. So I know they have different ones and I forget what lengths they have, but they have different lengths. So now I'm gonna attach this sucker 
which, oh, see again, it's gonna be pretty cool because I can just take this out. I can comfortably adjust it here, or attach it here. And one of the things I really like is that they have this sort of, a, again, quick release system for the ball heads so that you can adjust, you know, the levels and stuff. But if you want to take it out of the, the hard coupler here, it's very easy because you just, you don't have to unthread it all the way. You just basically press this button. If you want to let go of it now, you don't have to unthread the whole thing. You can just press this and the whole screw comes out. So you see now, you see how quick it is to adjust that. Um, now, as you can see here, this movement is, is not from like any of these parts. They're actually all holding very solid. I don't know if you can see, but it's the car. You can actually see the, the metal on the car, right? It's very thin. It's actually shaking. Obviously, when you're driving, you're always going to get some vibrations like that. Now, if I attach a third point here, it will stabilize it a bit more. So may maybe let me try that, actually. I'm going to use one up here again, like a third arm to just add three points of contact. But I'm going to attach one on the roof and I'll use one of the, the pulleys to tighten that. <laughs> Another thing I, I just realized is that it has three eighths, because this has basically three eighths and a quarter 20 threads on this. Well, this thing actually, each one of these pieces that, you know, go into any of these magic arms, they also have three eighths, but then you push it down and you can literally convert it that easily into quarter 20, which is genius because it allows you again to attach it, you know, in this case, I can obviously attach it, but if you have wanted to attach it to some other accessories or things like that that are, that have different sizes, then again, you don't have to look for the, you know, different screw or replace it and then get it last. You just attach this directly. Ah, I just realized see, up here, I would want it to be longer, so I want this attached like this. And actually they do have threads here on the side and they both have those locking pins and they're both uh, the quarter 20 and 3 eighths, which is good. I see here. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see that. <laughs> so you see, that's basically what you're dealing with when you're attaching it to cars. Obviously, some cars are better than others, but most of the door panels are pretty flexible. So you got to keep that in mind that even if you had like the most secure system, you still want to kind of have as many points of contact just so that you, you kind of minimize the vibration of the door itself. I've got one of their, their tripods, it's actually the, sort of my favorite tripod, it's the Gazelle TC7. They're nice and light, they extend to a nice height and you'll see it, they use the same kind of system here for uh, attaching and detaching the fluid head. So, Again, I can loosen this, I can adjust my level, but if I want to take this out, put it down, see I have that same button, just press it, oh, there, and the whole thing comes out. So I don't have to actually unthread this whole length, long uh, screw. And now, uh, actually I think this is the same size, I can just attach it directly there to the, my car mount. Yep, it fits. And obviously, I mean, it's a standard ball head. Uh, this is a, what is it, 75 mil. So you can attach, obviously, any other tripod fluid head that you have. But uh, if you have the, you know, if you happen to have the one from iFootage, it just works that much faster. Now I can put my camera here. I'm putting the Packet 4K. Oh, okay. So they give you these little things. They're quarter 20, so you can attach it I guess anywhere here for basically attaching the strap. So just anywhere on top of the car, I guess, is, it should be a good spot. And I want to make sure that's pointing down toward the camera is. Okay, there, see? There. Leave it like that. I can even tie it here on the mirror, the excess, so that in case this whole thing goes loose, I, I shouldn't lose the camera this way. <laughs> now, one thing you want to keep in mind, and this is like early on when I was starting in films, I remember the first time I was setting up a car rig, 
is you always got to make sure that there's another way for the passenger to actually access the car or whoever you're filming. All right, hit record. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's, I mean, there's some vibrations, obviously. It doesn't seem like it's bad. I'm gonna go a bit, a bit faster here. Okay, so we're going 35 miles an hour. That's how it looks. We got birds on the street here. <laughs> Come on, buddies, get out of the way. So it looked very secure. So hopefully uh, the camera I wasn't shaking too much. Actually, when I did glance a few times, I didn't see any shaking. And again, this is packet 4K with no image body stabilization. So we'll be able to see exactly how that looks basically without any of that. But again, keep in mind that if you have some, well, like most cameras these days that have in-body image stabilization and on top of that a stabilized lens and all that stuff, then you, know, you can also stabilize that even further. But, Okay, let me let me get out and let me switch the, the angle to another basically site. Maybe I'll do one just sort of looking forward and let's see how quickly I can set that up. Okay. This is, this is when I really wish this camera had a flip out screen. The camera is rolling. Let's get this shot. So, looks like it works. <laughs> At least at this time, the camera didn't fall off. So I don't know how long, I didn't have the timer on this time, so I don't know exactly how, how long the reset up took, but uh, I mean, it couldn't have been more than five minutes. As you can see, you can attach it in a lot of different positions. Uh, obviously you, have, you can use it in not just on a car, you can use it in other scenarios too. Anywhere you have a surface where it's smooth enough where the suction cups are gonna work. Um, and otherwise, yeah, I mean, I do like the, some of those little innovative things they have, like the, the little threads that go from quarter 20 to three eighths, uh, and you don't need any tools, like the whole thing, you know, attaches, assembles, disassembles without the use of any tools. Uh, I also like the, the fact that it already uses, you know, a lot of the industry standard equipment, like for attaching the, the your fluid head. Uh, uh, but if you're using the one from iFootage, it works even, even better, even quicker. Um, I like those little snap-on kind of attachments for the magic arms. So now that I know how fast and actually how secure these are, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get more of these magic arms, just basically different lengths. Cause sometimes, I mean, just for other things might be useful. But yeah, right now I'm really happy with this. First time I used it and I own way too many of these <laughs> camera rigs already. You've seen me probably do a bunch of videos about these, but this is the latest one. And yeah, I gotta say it's, best one so far. I'm gonna do a follow-up video because one thing I did notice about some of these systems is that with time 
the suction mounts like the rubber on it gets something i don't know what it is but it just becomes more and more stiff and then the suction mounts basically just don't work like i had one from i think it was camp tree it was like this cheapo one from india that i got and the problem was that like it worked perfectly but after like a few years i noticed that the rubber got so stiff and then it just did not provide good suction so, so that's definitely one thing to keep an eye out so if i notice anything i'll do an update i'll let you guys know but so far like with any of the i footage products i haven't had any problems uh, in like sort of long-term usage so anyways that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did as always uh, let me know in the, the comment section below and if you haven't already make sure you head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com and while you're there subscribe to my newsletter uh, that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one bye